welcome back. As part of his Google Summer of Code project, Godot contributor Jeff is going to work on adding wind forces for soft bodies in Godot physics. He proposes the implementation of a jet force object that can be used to specify the origin, direction, and magnitude of a jet force. In this example video, a 3000 triangle mesh has its top two vertices pinned in place to simulate a cloth. Two jet force objects have been instantiated. One stronger force is blowing the cloth back, and a weaker jet force facing the cloth at angle to create additional ripples. Initially, this jet force will only apply to soft bodies, but it would be cool to see it be able to apply to rigid bodies as well. The lead developer of Godot is working on a new, low-level native extension system for Godot 4.0 that supersedes GD Native by being much simpler and a lot more powerful. This should make it easier for developers to make other programming languages work with Godot. The Godot's number 11 has been published. This issue dives deep into the Godot forums. So far this year, the forums have already received more posts and comments than during the entirety of 2018 and 2019. And of course, 2020 saw three times more activity compared to previous years. I recommend checking out the full report as there is a lot more interesting data points. I will link it down in the description. Dialogic version 1.2 has been released. Dialogic is a powerful Godot plugin that allows you to implement text-based conversations and dialogues in your game. It supports branching dialogue trees, unique character portraits for different emotions, and fancy animated text effects. If your game has dialogue in it, this plugin is a must-have. I will link the full devlog for this update down in the description. The GOTM Jam number 6 has started. This jam is divided into five categories. Gameplay, look, sound, originality, and theme. The top rated game in each category will win $20 in prize money. This jam's theme is leading a group. Submissions close on July 5th. Sir Quartz has made a general purpose debug console full of useful commands suitable for any kind of project. You can find it in the Godot asset library. Mad Productivity is a minimalistic productivity tool made by a master procrastinator. This is an interactive water shader made in Godot. The depth can be edited from GDScript. Internally, this draws to a texture, which is continuously updated by a shader to dissolve into waves. Nakoto Art has released a major update to their Breath of the Wild shader. The new release supports multiple light sources, colored lights, and supports screen, space, ambient occlusion, and the world environment node. Plus, there's a ton of tuning options to achieve the exact effect you are after. Here is a jiggle bone effect implemented in Godot. When the origin point is moved away from its original position, it jiggles until it comes to rest again. It even reacts to movement. Here is a video mapper that takes a video as input and maps it to a texture rect with Godot's icon.png. Love Pizza Inc. tweeted out a Pico 8 game running inside and fully playable from within a Godot game. In Ancient, fight your way across this strange realm inhabited by a host of mutated creatures who want nothing more than to put you down. Obtain bizarre assortments of items along your journey to further your efforts at survival. Outbreak 19 is a 3D first person shooter for Android. Regraten is an experimental action game where you have to fight waves of enemies and, unlike most other progression systems, you get weaker every level. Therefore, thinking ahead and making quick, strategic decisions about the stats you want to sacrifice is encouraged. Child of Aether is a small, open-world horror game that is based around pseudo-alchemy.
This is an experimental fan-made reimagination of Earthbound in 3D. By the way, if you haven't already, go follow me on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash codingkaiju. I mostly livestream game development. If you just want something chill to put on in the background, come drop by and say hi. That's all for you this week. Like the video, leave a comment for the algorithm. Thanks for watching.